Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with the one inch brush and a little bit of blue and black. And we'll come right up here and just paint in some clouds, just like that. Small, tiny little circles. Now with a clean brush, we can just blend out the whole sky, doing tiny little circles. And be careful not to kill all the light and dark areas we have in there. Now with the fan brush and some black, we can make a more distinct cloud right up here doing tiny circles and shaping the outside of the cloud. With a clean 2 inch brush, we can blend out that cloud just with circles, tiny little circles, and then we can fluff it up and then blend it right back down. Now with a fan brush and some white and a little bit of blue, we can add some highlight to these clouds using tiny circles, just highlight the top. Now back to the two inch brush and we can very gently blend out the bottom of the highlights. Just a little, we don't want to destroy them. Just want to blend them out a little and lightly fluff and then go across. Now with some black and white on the knife, we can make a little mountain up here. Just shape the outside edge. Now with the one inch brush, we can pull that mountain out. This makes it look nice and soft down toward the bottom. Now with some white on the knife, we can add a little bit of highlight to this mountain. Small amount of snow right up here. Now with a two inch brush, we can just tap right along the bottom to create some mist and then lift up following the angles. Now I want to make another mountain range so I'll just start right there and work my way across going distinctly in front of that mountain. Kind of pushes it back. Now with a one inch brush we can just pull that mountain out and then make that one misty at the bottom too. Now back to the knife and a little bit of white and we can add some snow to this mountain. No pressure at all, let it break as it comes down. Just like that. A little bit right there. Now with some blue and white, we can add a little bit of shadow up here. Still no pressure with the knife. Now I'm going to mix up some black and blue and not add any white to it. And then cut across and get some paint. And right here. I want a really dark mountain that's close to us. So that's why it's dark. So I don't want to add any white. Back here we added white to the base color, but up here I want it very dark. Now with the one inch brush, we can pull this out. Just like that and smooth it all out. Now back to the white and we can add some highlight. Very light pressure. 
very light pressure. We want all this breaking. Now with some blue and white, we can add a little bit of shadow. Just like that. Be really careful not to push too hard. You won't get any of this breaking. It's very, very light. It's as light as you can possibly touch. That should be just right. Now back to the two inch brush and we can tap right at the bottom of the mountain to create some mist. And when you're done tapping, you can lift up following the angles of the mountain very lightly. Don't want to destroy the whole mountain. Just want to blend it out. Now with the one inch brush and some blue and black, a little bit of white, we can come right up here and tap and create some land. Maybe even we can pull up a little and get some trees. But not too much. This is pretty far away. Just tap and create the land. Now I think I want a little bit of water here, so I want all the land to slope down toward the water. Now with some of that same color, we can pull straight down. Go straight down, create some water. Go lightly across. Now with some white on the knife, we can come just like this and add a little bit of snow right here where the land meets the water. Now with the one inch brush, some black and blue, we can come right here and just drop in like a little hill right there. Kind of have it sloping in like that. Kind of pushes everything back. While we have that brush going, we can add a little bit of land right there. Now with the fan brush and some black and white, maybe we can see a couple of trees they're growing right off of that little peninsula thing, I guess, or little island. We can even go like that and create just the tops far, far away. Now with some black on the fan brush, we can come right there and paint in a nice little pine tree. Just tapping with the corner of that brush and working down. Now with a little bit of light color in the knife, we can just drop in a little tree trunk. Now with some white on the fan brush, we can add a little bit of highlight to these trees using the corner of that brush, just tapping and be sure to leave a lot of dark in your tree. That's what gives it contrast and depth. Now with the one inch brush, we'll just go through some white and we'll pop a couple of little bushes up here just by tapping real light. You'll get all this texture in your bush. Be sure to leave the dark. It's very important. And maybe, maybe a little bit of snow right there. Now with the fan brush and some white, we can add a little bit of snow right down here. I'm putting the bright part on first and then gently blending it back into the base color. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my new website and also my DVD for sale. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.